Good morning, Eleanor. Thank you for joining us today at Blue Notes. We've all heard about big data and analytics and what it is. How are companies using big data to successfully improve their businesses today? I think it's useful to recap on what big data is and what big data and analytics is. And I think it's still useful to think of big data in terms of the three Vs. So volume of data is where big data gets its, its name from. And we know that data is doubling every 12 to 18 months uh, and is, is really a bit of a deluge. Um, variety, we have to deal with so many different sources of data now, not just structured data, but unstructured text, images, video. And then lastly, velocity. So this is streaming data. It's coming at us in real time from sensors in the Internet of Things world. So those are the three Vs of big data. But you know, big data is not that interesting and valuable in itself. When you apply big analytics to big opportunities and big problems, that's where you really get the fourth V, which is value. And, and in terms of the second part of the question, which is businesses who are improving um, as a result of using analytics, well, we've got many examples. A recent case study we have is, is Vodafone here in Australia. Um, they are using analytics. Um, they actually turned an, a, a regulatory issue into an opportunity around bill shock. So, you know, they send hundreds of thousands of personalised alerts out every day using our real-time uh, decision uh, engine. Um, and they do that in, in a really small window of opportunity and, and they have to ensure that they respect the customer's marketing permissions but they tailor the alert to the needs of that, that individual. So really great example. You are passionate about the adoption of STEM in Australia. How do you think universities, businesses and governments can work together to bridge the gap in the market? Look, I think all of the, I think universities, industry and government need to lean into this issue because it's a big issue for Australia. Um, we are falling behind. Uh, in what they call the PISA test globally. Um, we've dropped in our rankings globally. And what that means for us is, you know, we're not going to be competitive in the future. And as the importance of big data in businesses grows, what types of skills, following on from your question, do you think will most be most important for professionals and leaders in the technology space today? So I think analytics is, is really going to be pervasive. Um, I think every technology professional needs to understand analytics, but there's a blend of skills and I think communication skills and storytelling is really important. Uh, creative and design thinking is important. Um, and having relevant industry experience, I think, is, 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 is equally important. You know, it, every, every problem is going to have a data um, uh, behind it in the future. You know, every company is going to need analytics eventually if they're going to be competitive. And everyone is going to need analytics. So I think every, people who are proactive um, in understanding it um, will be marketable in the future and, and, and relevant in the future. So I think it's just going to be pervasive. Thank you so much for that insight and thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Angie.